This newscast is brought to you by Miss Liberty, located at the foot of the village at Pine Knot Landing, your gateway to adventure in Big Bear Lake. Welcome to a special edition of ROTWnews.com, a look at what's happening in and around our mountain communities. The consolidation of services and or merger of the Big Bear City Fire District and the Big Bear Lake Fire Protection District takes another step closer tomorrow when directors of the Big Bear Lake District meet at 9 a.m. Among the items under consideration is a shared Fire Chief Services Agreement between the two agencies with Big Bear City Chief Jeff Willis serving as Interim Chief in Big Bear Lake. The fiscal impact to the City of Big Bear Lake would be just over $146,000, a 50% shared cost of the Chief's salary. Pending approval of the agreement, Willis will be sworn in as Interim Chief of the Big Bear Lake Fire Protection District. The meeting, which will all consider the relocation of Station 282, will take place at Holford Hall at 39707 Big Bear Boulevard in Big Bear Lake. Blood donors in the mountain communities have two opportunities this week to donate blood in Big Bear Lake and in Crestline. The live stream bloodmobile will be in Big Bear Lake on Friday, July 15th at Southwest Gas on Big Bear Boulevard from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. On Saturday, July the 16th, the Bloodmobile travels to Crestline at Ye Old Barbershop on Lake Drive from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. Donors at both locations will receive a coupon for a complimentary pint of Bascom Robbins ice cream, courtesy of Lifestream. It only takes about an hour to donate, yet give someone a lifetime. Give hope. Give life. Give blood. Tomorrow, July 13th through Friday, July the 15th, Caltrans and the contractor will be restricting access on the backside of Highway 18 to larger trucks. The paving project on several tight curves between Big Bear and Lucerne Valley will cause regular traffic delays of about 15 minutes. The California Highway Patrol will be stationed at the top of Highway 18 near Big Bear, post mile 59, and at the bottom in Lucerne Valley, post mile 73, and will be turning larger vehicles around. The contractor will be conducting the work between 9 a.m. and 6 p.m. A reminder, slow for the cone zone. Thank you for watching. For breaking news and other stories, visit ROTWnews.com. Michael P. Newfeld reporting.